So I showed you how to make a shape outline in the last tutorial. And right now I wanted to show you a couple of other really cool things. So um, I wanted to make this a double ring, and um, but I want it to kind of match the same shape to start at least. So I'm gonna come in here and duplicate the layer first. Then I'm going to go into the transform menu and if I just kind of drag this out bigger and then move it up um, and I could adjust its size further from here if I want to make it, um, you know, a little bit tighter. Could move this kind of, you know, wherever I wanted. Could pull this out just to get it however um, I would like to sort of fit in there. And if I want to change my mind about it later, I can. I think right now I'll leave it like that. That looks pretty cool, actually. Now, I would never be able to draw that. <laughs> never, ever. So this is like the, the a really good example of how to use that shape tool. So um, I haven't really talked too much about this example that I'm working on. If I zoom in here, um, I drew all that by hand. It's pretty tiny, the brush that I was using, and I just went one at a time really slow. I zoomed out when I screwed one up, which I did many, many times. Um, I tried again. So over here, if uh, I turn this on and turn this off, you can see those were like my sketch lines underneath, just to give an idea kind of what it would be. But then I went in and made it, you know, actually look um, like I wanted it to. So remember, when you're on an iPad, you could just try again till you get it how you want it. All right. But I couldn't ever probably draw that outer ring successfully. So I used the shape tool. Okay. That's the first thing um, that I wanted to show you with that. Second thing that I wanted to show you is how to multi select. Okay. So if you click on this, select multiple then you can enter um, select multiply uh, multiple layers at the same time. Because I wanted to um, try to move that circle, but it's on three different layers. So I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna unselect the background because I don't need that. My spider lines and the swirl part. Now all three of those are selected. I can come over here to transform and I'm moving all three of those parts. And I want to kind of nestle it in. That was too hard for me to control while I was moving the outer ring. But it's easy for me to control when I grab that like a whole little unit and move it over. So you might be wondering, why didn't I just mer merge those all together? Well, I like to have things on separate layers. Because like, what if I decide I want to change something? Like maybe I don't want this circle on the bottom to be white. I only want to change that. Or what if I want to warp the ring that goes around and around? Well, that'd be fun, but I only want to do it to that one. Okay, so first thing I need to do is get out of select multi-mode. So I just hit that X and I can work with one at a time again.